Tired of all that writing, filming, and editing? I know I am, but there's a solution. It's called YouTube Live. In this video, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on how to excel at live broadcast so that you're always one click away from another great upload. This is Viso Flipside. If you have more than 100 subscribers, then you're eligible for live broadcasts as another means of uploading. YouTube Live lets you stream basically whatever you want, and that's the beauty of it. Flexibility and interactivity. Live allows you to interact with fans in a way that's not possible with a regular video upload. And I think this is a key component in building a community for your channel. In order to be successful with a YouTube live stream, you want to remember each stage of production, before, during, and after. Live videos will certainly appeal to your most loyal fans. However, it's a great opportunity to bring in new fans as well. So you want to make sure that everybody knows when your live broadcast is. And while you may think your home setup is super awesome, when you turn on the camera, you might not be able to be seen or heard. So do a few tests to make sure that you're clearly lit and you have a microphone around so people can hear what you're saying in order to present a broadcast quality show. As always, metadata is really important for any video. So you want to make sure that your title, tags, description, and thumbnail are all optimized. For tips on how to do these things, check out other videos in this series. Keep a watchful eye on comments while you're broadcasting your show, especially if you're asking questions or want user interaction. This is a great way to give people what they want and it makes them feel involved and connected to you. Since Live doesn't currently support annotations, you want to make sure any call to action you have is edited into the live broadcast itself. Unless you're a great editor or a technical whiz, this might be a little advanced for some users, but just know the option is there. If everything you did in the live broadcast is totally yours and copyright free, then you'll have no problem uploading those clips to your channel as regular videos. Perhaps consider staggering the abridged clips from your live broadcast throughout the week. Let's say you did it on Saturday, you could do a Monday to Friday upload with something new every day. Also make sure to promote your live stream for a few weeks on your regular videos before you do it. This will make sure that the most amount of people will watch and it's easy advertising. Well, that about does it for today. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you want magical powers. I hope you found these live streaming strategies to be interesting and informative. If you did, I'm here every Tuesday with something new. But until next time, I am Peter Brown, and I'll catch you 